Located at 8700 Lawyers Road in Mint Hill is the Little Flower Catholic Assisted Living, a small nursing home that tries to live up to its namesake, the young French Catholic nun St. Teresa of Lisieux, also known as the Little Flower. And just like its patronage, who embrace the spirituality of the little way or doing the little things with lots of love daily, the staff of the Little Flower provide a place that 40 seniors, Catholic or not, call home. Even non-Catholics can feel the presence of the Lord when they enter because not all of our residents are Catholic, so we have to also feed them from a worship standpoint. So we have other denominations and other ministers that do come in to share their faith, and it's all about us serving the same God. A uh, little flower um, was built back in 96. Uh, there were two parish members uh, from Our Lady of Assumption Catholic Church, Sharon Mayfield and Keith Adams. Um, they both had a dream of building a small little assisted living in the Mint Hill area, um, which is the Little Flower, uh, named in honor of St. Therese. The Little Flower provides an important service to sustain the faith of area seniors. I think that there's a need. I mean, I have a lot of people that come in looking for an assisted living where they can still go to Mass, you know, pray the rosary in the morning, which we offer all of that here. And that's a huge part of their life, you know, uh, their, their religion and, and uh, uh, church is very big for them. So um, we offer that right here at the Little Flower and that's very convenient. Yes, I do. My mom is here. Um, she's 98 years old and um, she's been a resident here for six years. We had two major falls in 2010 and 2011 and I knew that she would not be able to come home after that, that we'd have to find a, a placement for her. And I looked around at so many different places and I came into the Little Flower and there was a sense of community here uh, that I just didn't see anywhere else. I fell in love with the chapel uh, and Dolores and Jody who are still here. Uh, much of the staff that was here in 2010 and 11 is also still here. My name is Father Joe Mulligan, and I am the uh, uh, Catholic priest, chaplain for the Little Flower Assisted Living facility here in uh, Mint Hill. And uh, I provide the sacramental presence uh, primarily uh, here, celebrate the uh, Mass, the, the Eucharist, uh, generally twice a week, th generally Thursdays and Saturdays, the Saturday celebration, which is uh, in the uh, late morning, right before lunch, uh, provides a, a, a Sunday celebration in the best possible light, uh, mainly because uh, I have other responsibilities for Sunday uh, celebrations elsewhere in the diocese. For people who are uh, uh, connected uh, solely to a, a facility like the Little Flower uh, that meets their needs and uh, provides uh, uh, an ongoing connection to the, uh, their Catholic faith. In 2004, the Little Flower was sold to Premier Senior Living, a company with assisted and skilled nursing homes facilities in the Carolinas in Georgia. As new ownership was getting ready to renovate the building, Brown says she let upper management know about the known negotiables. Wasn't real sure how they, what presence they want to portray here. And I said, one thing we will not compromise is that Catholic orientation here and especially the chapel. So that has to stay. And they didn't argue with me. And I went on to explain how critical it was because it had been a pillar in this community. Uh, people come here based on that. Uh, we just have such a special feeling and just a warmth here that I don't see in any other community. Not to say that other communities are not good, but there is something very special in the Little Flower and I think that the presence of the Catholic orientation sets us apart from anyone else. Rico De Silva, CatholicNewsHerald.com